So you're thinking about making a move right here to Melissa, Texas. We're out here in a neighborhood called Legacy Ranch. Now this neighborhood's been around for a little while and it is right off of Highway 5, absolutely amazing location, close to 121.75. You can get to downtown McKinney in about 10 minutes. You can get to Allen and all the shops down there in about 14 minutes. So an amazing location, A-rated school district and everything you possibly need. We've got a splash pad, a park out here and trails that surround this entire neighborhood. But the home we're gonna be showing you here today is gonna to be an MI home. I haven't shown many MI homes, but they just opened up a new phase. They've got six specs being built right now. And then you, there's about 28 lots that you can build on. And they're gonna range from about 50 foot wide to 60 foot wide. So lots of options to choose from. These are gonna be in the mid fours for around 2000 square feet, all the way up to almost 4000 square feet into the 600. So lots of ranges, things to choose from. But this home right here behind us is gonna be just over 2,800 square feet, a four bed, three bath, two story, and it's absolutely beautiful. Right here where you see these two windows, this is a model home, so that would be the garage space. And as you notice, there's a third car garage right over there. So if you're looking for a three car garage, you've got options there as well. As you know, those are hard to find. So let's go ahead and check out this beautiful home. Welcome to the beautiful Whitley plan by MI Homes. As soon as you walk in, you're gonna notice that it opens up to the second story so you can see all the way up and it feels nice and wide open. You have this beautiful oversized office space as well with oversized windows. We've got surround sound, can lighting, everything you possibly need in here. And if you wanted to make this a separate dining area, you could definitely do that as well. So if you wanted to close this in, I know it's wide open. Some of you got kids and it gets really loud. You can definitely close that in. So that is an option. Then we're gonna continue down the long entryway. Over to your left is gonna be an additional half bathroom for the guests and your laundry space with additional cabinet space in here. So not a huge laundry room, but plenty of space for extra cabinets and storage as well. And then we're gonna enter everybody's favorite part of the house, which is the kitchen and entertaining area. We've got gas out here, which is huge. Lots of places only have electric. This is a Vena hood slash microwave. If you want to do a fancy Vena hood, you could definitely do so. It does vent to the outside of the house, which is a big deal. We've got a nice oversized island, nice modern features. If you're wondering what this is, this is for clean water, but a nice, beautiful oversized sink and little modern touches. Your pantry space is right here, but the cabinets go all the way around as well as into the main dining area, which is really great. So tons of cabinet space with additional windows, but this is gonna be a wide open floor plan. As you can see, you've got your kitchenette or dining area right here in the middle of the room. That's a really popular feature that people love. People wanna entertain, cook, and do everything all in one space. But if that's not your style, I'm sure they have a floor plan that'll fit your needs. Then we're gonna walk into the living room area. It's gonna open up into the second floor, which is really cool looking. You've got windows that surround this entire room all the way through the kitchen, but you can see this opens up like 20 plus feet into the second story and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a nice grand feel in here. You've got a doorway into your oversized back patio space. And here's your beautiful stair rail right here. But this whole room, let me just walk back here and kind of show you how gorgeous this whole open floor plan. You can see everything all in one space and it is awesome looking. And then we're going to enter into the back right corner of the house and that is where your master bedroom is going to be. You've got beautiful bay windows throughout, tons of additional natural light coming in. The ceilings in here look about 10, 11 feet, so nice ceiling height. 
This room is very big. You've got a little bit of an echo in here, even with all this furniture, but a really nice size bedroom, beautiful layout, tons of windows. And then you're gonna have your master bath. Now your master bath, which is cool about this, is you're gonna have a beautiful, nice soaker tub, additional oversized window above that, as well as a nice size shower, double vanity, extra storage for your towels and everything you need over here. Of course, your toilet over there and a nice size closet space right here for plenty of room for everything you need. Like I said, this house is only 2,800 or just over 2,800 square feet, but feels much bigger than that. upstairs portion of the house. You walk up this beautiful stair rail here, but you're gonna walk in to this beautiful game room slash whatever you wanna make it room. But you've got additional windows in here. They've made this into like an office slash TV area, sitting area all in one. But like I said, this is gonna open up into the additional living space of the house. You've got nice tall ceilings in this room, can lighting surround sound once again, but a really nice layout. It feels really big. This upstairs portion packages a lot and not that much space. So we're gonna have an additional three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So this section right here is gonna be the two additional bedrooms as well as a nice oversized bathroom. That you can see, we've got nice modern touches finishes as well as the double vanity sink, which is great. So kids aren't arguing about using the sink, but We'll walk into one of the first bedrooms. And one of the things I like about these bedrooms is they're not super big, but they're nice and cozy. You'll notice that the ceiling height definitely drops in the upstairs portion of the house, which is pretty normal, but just wanted to point that out if it feels much smaller, but it's got a really nice size closet, especially for additional bedrooms. So tons of closet space. If you wanted to add extra, you know, railing, whatever for storage, you could definitely do so. And that is gonna be your attic access door, which you can lock so you don't have to worry about your kids going in there. Then we're gonna walk into the second bedroom of the upstairs space. Once again, about the same size bedrooms. I'll point out that the ceilings are lower, but this is gonna be your kids' bedrooms most likely. So it's not a huge issue. All the ceiling heights downstairs are really high as well as the game room area, but another beautiful or oversized walk-in closet. So now we'll enter back into the game room section and you'll see that there's another long wide hallway here that overlooks into the downstairs where you'll see the entryway to the home. So it's nice, light and bright with an additional window. But this is definitely the best room of the upstairs portion of the house. You're gonna have basically a whole wall of windows here. So tons of natural light. This room is huge. As you can see, we've got big shelving on both sides, probably a fuller queen size bed right here. Tons of space in here. Um, and you've got your own additional 
full bathroom as well as a walk-in closet. So a beautiful oversized bathroom as well as a nice oversized closet right here. But this is definitely where you're gonna send your favorite kid or your in-laws because it is an in-suite. If they don't mind walking upstairs, it's a great option. Now we're here at the back patio space of this house. This is gonna be a nice oversized patio. They've got a table out here as well as a couch, but there's a lot of things you can do with this if you want an outdoor kitchen. And there's things like, you can wall this off to give more private to a cedar fence. There's all kinds of options. I've got contractors that can take care of that for you. But this out, outdoor area, like I said, you're gonna be able to hang a TV and you can hook up your gas or do a gas fire pit because there's gonna be a gas connection on the back patio as well, which is a huge deal. But these are nice oversized lots. The majority of lots are gonna be around 40 to 50 feet nowadays. This is a 60 wide lot. So plenty of space, it's gonna feel much wider, but lots of room for activities. So I hope you enjoyed today's tour of this video. If you're looking to purchase a home in this neighborhood or anywhere in the DFW Metroplex, I'd love to be your agent of choice. So make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Dallas. Hope to see you around town. Mm -hmm.